Welcome back, everybody. I've been hiding like Biden in my basement during the pandemic. I didn't realize I could come out. I didn't realize I could make videos, but someone cleared that up recently. So here I am. Sorry about the long delay. My seven-year-old grandson, Isaac, wanted me to leave this up for you just to say hello. And now during the pandemic, unfortunately, a hero passed away. Sean Connery of Bond, James Bond fame, passed away on the 31st of October, 2020. If you add up those six digits, what do you get? Seven? No, not quite, guess again. I'll give you a hint. You got it. 007. Goodness, my marker's kind of dead here. Let's try another one. If he had lasted a little bit longer into November of 2020, on which date or dates could he have passed away to maintain this 007? You got it, three, but is there another one? Yes, 30. What if you had lasted until December 2020? Then what day would you have had to have passed away on? You got that again, the second. Now, what if we move into 2021? January. 2021, what day would he have had to have passed away on? You got it, the third. Now, is it possible for him to survive much longer and to maintain that 007 pattern? What would be the last month in which he could pass away to maintain that pattern? So we're talking 21. What's the biggest number here so he could maintain that pattern. Well, of course, this would have to be the smallest number, one. So that would make this, you got it, March. After that, pattern doesn't work. All right. Now for the main topic of today. You've probably all taken an IQ test at one time or another. And you've probably had a question something like this, where they ask you to predict the next number in a sequence. So let's say they give you two, four, eight. What's the next number? Well, to find out the next number, you have to look for some kind of a pattern. Let's keep it really simple. Let's just say we recognize these as being even numbers, which of course they are, with the six missing, so perhaps what they've done is left out every third even number. If that's the case, the next number would be 10. And the one after that would be 14 and then 16. You leave out 12 because it's the third one after these two or it's divisible by six. You leave out anything divisible by six. That's one way to look at it. What if we do addition? Let's say I go from two to four, I'm adding two. If I go from four to eight, I'm adding four. So perhaps I could add six to this number, which would give me 14. That's, that's the same as this one. Or maybe the next number would be plus eight, using this same pattern up here, two, four, eight. In that case, it would be 16, so that'd be plus 6, that'd be plus 8, and I get 16. Well, those are all quite possible. What if I do multiplication? If I do multiplication, I'm multiplying by 2 to get 4. I multiply by 2 again to get 8, so I'd multiply by 2 again and give me 16. So I got three options for 16. Okay, what about this idea? 
I can multiply 2 times 2 to get 8. So possibly I can multiply 4 times 8 to get 32. Or, another way to look at it, I multiply the first two numbers to get 8. Maybe I multiply the, the first three numbers to get this one, which would be 8 times 8, 64. So as you can see, there's lots of possibilities. The most common one is 16. That might be the one you thought of because multiplying by 2 and by 2 and then by 2 again, this one right here, is probably what the test writers would have in mind. But you never know. And your answer, even though they marked it wrong, might have been right. So what I'm recommending you all do is give yourself 10 extra points on your IQ. Does that sound good? Perfect. Okay, well, I better go back into my hideout. We'll see you next time. Spread the word. Subscribe, like, comment. See you soon, hopefully. Take care.